Shalom family. I had a person in my comment section ask a very good question, and it seemed to really disturb their spirit. So I want to give you a little peace, and I hope this helps. What does the name Jesus actually mean? Does it mean hell Zeus? Um, no. There are several strange and misleading teachings and doctrines that make their rounds concerning the name of God of Jesus Christ family. And one such false doctrine is the idea that the name of Jesus actually means hell Zeus. Promoters of this bizarre concept claim that anyone who uses the name Jesus is offering praise to a false god and is not saved. They go as far as to say this person must only use the Hebrew name for Jesus, since there is only one name by which we can be saved, which is in Acts 4.12. Okay, first family, let's discuss this, because I really want to bring this person some peace, okay? So, um, first and foremost, we will explain that Jesus, quote unquote, means hell Satan theory the best we can, because it's, it's ludicrous. Then we will look at the truth of the matter from a biblical perspective, which is the most important. Those who teach that the name Jesus means hell Satan usually start with the name of God, Yah. See that in Isaiah 26, 4 family. Um, from that name of God, they take the Messiah's name to be Yahshua, and which that says mean Yah is salvation. They contend that this is the name used by the apostles and by the Messiah himself. However, after the apostles were dead and gone, the Roman, yes, the Roman church took over Christianity. And that's why we still to this day have so many problems, family. In order to make their brand of religion more acceptable to the pagans, the Roman leaders changed the name of the Messiah into the Greek Latin hybrid Laos, if I'm pronouncing that right, which supposedly means hell Zeus. Since Zeus or Jupiter was the chief god in that, that era, the pagans had little trouble, you know, accepting that. So by changing the Savior's name, Christianity had been effectively stripped of its Hebrew roots, and it was meddling with, you know, with paganism, and it was a success. The Greek Savior, you know, could still be Zeus. In time, the word, the word Laos was further corrupted into Jesus in English, and this is what they say. As proof for their conspiracy theory that Jesus means hell Zeus, advocates point to the fact that the second syllable of Jesus, sus, sounds similar to the name of the chief god, the chief Greek god, especially when Jesus is pronounced in Spanish. It becomes evident that people are actually saying, hey Zeus, added to these proofs is the fact that ancient, you know, sculptures of Zeus show him with a beard, just like modern day pictures of Jesus, right? So what can we say to such a far-fetched nonsense family? First, not everyone who has a beard is trying to take the place of Jesus. I mean, that's just so, oh me, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, well, secondly, just because a certain word or a part of a word sounds like another word is no proof of its commonality, family. Basing theories of a word origin on pronunciation, like how it's pronounced, is it's just preposterous. You know, um, um, there's many words that sound the same but do not have the same meaning. But there is nothing particularly funny, you know, about that. I mean, there's so many examples. And thirdly, family, the Messiah Hebrew name is... Yahshua, not, it's Yeshua, not Yahshua. The latter being is the fabrication in order to make the name sound more like Yah. Fourth, the Hebrew name Yeshua, it, it, it basically, it translates into the Greek as, if I'm saying this right, family, I'm probably butchering it, which is Laseus. This is the name of the angel Gabriel commanded Joseph to name Mary's child, you are given him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Matthew 1 21. The name Jesus is simply a Greek form of Joshua, a common name among the Jews. The same verse also alludes to the meaning of the name, the, the name the Lord saves or the Lord is salvation. Family, whether you spell it Jesus or Joshua or Yeshua, 
the meaning stays the same. It has nothing to do whatsoever with Zeus. You, re, you bind and rebuke such people. You tell them they need to repent for the kingdom of God is at hand for, for basically for their false doctrine. They're going to be led astray right into the pit of hell. You know, do not fall for such thing. People are very good at what they do. And yes, they use scripture family. They, they, they know how to lead the body of Christ to falling away from the real faith. Names can and do translate family. Changing a name from one language to another does not change the meaning of that name. It's just so absurd. Nor does it change the character or the identity of that person. Elizabeth, you know, change Elizabeth into Spanish. You know, you know, it's the same girl though, right? Change Stephen into Spanish. Depending on where in the world that person is, it's going to sound different. It's going to be pronounced differently, but he is the same person regardless of what we call him. Similarly, Jesus or Yeshua referred to the same person is far from being Zeus. Okay, family, far from it. Do not fall for that nonsense. I mean, I, I know there's so many wolves in sheep clothing out there, family. I'm just to start exposing some of them. And I only hope that these people that I do expose will take this as an act of love I don't think they will. They're probably going to look at it as hate, but I hope that they will repent, family. We must pray for these people. These people are so far lost, you know, but we use the name Jesus because we're English, you know. If you speak English, you're going to say Jesus. I mean, it just, I, I don't understand how people, there's so many more things that we need to be worried about, bringing the lost to the kingdom of God. I mean, instead of arguing about petty stuff, the Lord warns us not to do these things, not to, not to argue over the word of God. And, and family, there's nowhere in the word that says this. Part of Timothy's work as a pastor was to command certain people not to teach false doctrines, right? If any longer or to devote themselves to the myths. 1 Timothy 1, 3 through 4. And also, Apostle Paul was concerned with such things to promote controversial speculations rather than advancing God's work, which is by faith. That's in verse four. Conspiracy theories and myths regarding the name of Jesus are distractions from the true work of God, family. We should not pay any heed to the claims that the name of Jesus means anything but what the scripture says it means, which is the Lord saves or the Lord is salvation. I speak English, so therefore I'm going to read English translations. You know, makes sense, doesn't it? It all goes back to the Tower of Babel where man thought they can outdo God. That's where all the languages came in, family. You know what I'm saying? In any language, his name means the Lord is salvation. The Bible nowhere commands us to only speak or, or, or to only write in Hebrew or Greek. It never even hints to such an idea. Check out Acts chapter 2, 9 through 10, when the message of the gospel was being proclaimed on the day of Pentecost. Just check, just read it. In the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus was made known to every language, every group, in a way that they could readily understand. Spelling did not matter, family. Whether we call on him in English, Korean, Hebrew, Greek, Spanish, the result is the same. The Lord is salvation, period. Family, I hope this brought you some peace. Don't be led astray. And don't be discouraged by such people. Know that you hold the key to the truth. The way, the truth, and the life is Yeshua. And it dang sure ain't no Zeus. Love you guys.